Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is our 43rd tutorial of Power BI. In the previous class, we have learned about Workspace and its roles. I hope guys, now you have good understanding about Workspace and its roles. So in today's class, we will study more features about Power BI services. So our today's class topic is apps. So firstly, I will tell you what is app in Power BI services. App is also a kind of workspace where we can store multiple reports, data set and dashboards. And you guys can also share this app to your organization members. So let's go to the Power BI services. So let's understand this app concept with practical. So here is a workspace guys and I have already published multiple reports and data set here. And now under my workspace, we can see this option which is create app. So before I understand this concept, I will publish this the third report into the Power BI services. So you guys can see here, I am publishing this report here into my workspace and my workspace name is Shubham. So we can see we have three reports are here. And now we will create one app here. So we need to click on this button. And once you click it, we can see our new page has opened. So from here, guys, you can edit or change your app name. Suppose I will rename this app as a Power BI dashboard. So let me write here Power BI dashboard. And under description box, you guys can enter the description about your app, like set of reports and data set. So you guys can enter any details here in description box. And now comes to the next option, which is upload. And from here, guys, you can change the icon of your app. And the next option is, guys, app theme color. We guys can see we have multiple colors here. So let me select is green. And now comes to the third option, which is contact information. So you guys can enter email ID of that person with whom you want to share this app. And this is a global app setting, guys. So you guys can check or uncheck this checkbox. From here guys you can hide the app navigation pane. So we guys can skip this. And now click on this next button. And this is an important step guys. Here we can add the contents. So whatever reports and dashboards are stored, we can add it here according to your requirement. So we need to click on add content here. And once you click it, we can see here guys we have a list of reports here and now we can select the report so let's say i want to add only these two reports from here and once you select our report then click on add button and now we can see guys only these two reports has added in our app so let me click on next button here so from here guys you can grant access to the whole organization or a specific user you can enter the email ID of that person with whom you want to share this application. And the last step of the process is publish app. So let me click on this publish app and click on publish. And here is the link guys of your app. You can copy this link and click on go to app. So guys, we can see this. We have created application in Power BI services. We guys can see here we have two reports only which is 41st tutorial and 42nd tutorial and we have selected the green color under the theme. Now let's go back to the home page and you can also open application from here as well. Let me click on this app button and we can see here is our app which name is Power BI dashboard. So let me click on my app. So we can see the application here guys, which we have created in Power BI services. And now we will learn how do we delete this application. So let's press go back here and click on this three dot and delete this application. So it is asking do you want to remove this app from your app list? Yes, we want to delete this. So in this way guys, we can delete the application from Power BI services. I hope guys you are clear with the concept of apps in Power BI services. So learning more features about Power BI services, stay connected with us. And those who are new to this channel, please like, subscribe and share this channel. 
and for more job and personal paid training you guys can connect me on linkedin link is given under the description box thank you so much guys keep learning keep growing thanks for watching and subscribe thank you guys